Like me, you probably use Squarespace because it's easy to use. It's a great platform, but sometimes that simplicity comes with limitations. One of the limitations I bump into all the time is that I want to use social media icons for different people on the same site. Essentially, I'd like to add multiple social icons like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram to link out to different social media profiles for different people. So a LinkedIn icon under this first team member would link to their LinkedIn profile, whereas a LinkedIn icon under the second team member would link to their different LinkedIn profile. But in Squarespace, we're limited to only one link per icon. Another issue is that Squarespace is way behind on the icons it includes for social media links. In fact, I'm recording this in February 2022, and there's still no TikTok icon. So if you want to use the built-in social links block and link out to your TikTok, you can't. But there is a workaround. SQS Mods has made a fantastic workaround plugin called Custom Social Icons Everywhere, and I'll walk you through an example of how to use it. They have generously given us 10% off the purchase price using the link and coupon code I'll drop below. Now this plugin, it works in list or auto list sections, which is a new type of section in Squarespace 7.1. It works on all image blocks, all summary blocks, regular text blocks, and it even works in your main navigation using the link option. Basically it works anywhere you can create a text link. I'll walk you through examples using image blocks and the main site navigation. Just a quick note before I walk you through this plugin, you will need to be on the business plan or hire of Squarespace because we will be pasting in site-wide code. So you can see that complete customization with CSS and JavaScript requires at least the business plan for your website. Okay, so step one is to purchase the custom social icons everywhere plugin. Again, you can use the link and discount code below and paste the code into your Squarespace website. So on your Squarespace website, you'll want to go to settings, advanced, code injection, and then here in the footer block is where you will paste in the code that's given to you when you purchase the plugin. Once you've pasted in your code, step two is that you'll need to source some social icons. I'll drop a link below to this social icon pack that I'm using in the first part of this demo. It's free for commercial use. I am going to use the Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn icons from this pack. And unfortunately, this pack doesn't include a TikTok icon, so I'm going to add a link to another icon pack that does, and you can download the whole pack or just that TikTok icon you see here. So after you have downloaded the pack or specific icon to your computer, we're going to, in step three, upload those icons through a special panel on your Squarespace site. So let's go back to our Squarespace site. We're going to go back to our home menu. And then from here, we'll go to design and custom CSS. Now at the bottom of this panel, you'll see there is a button that says manage custom files. This is where we will be adding those icons that we want to use on our website to the back end of our website so we can include them in our plugin code. So let's do that. Let's click Manage Custom Files, and you'll see a little arrow here that says Add Images or Fonts. And now I can navigate to the icons on my computer and upload each one that I plan on using on my website. First off, I'll load Instagram. So I'll click Open here, and you can see Instagram, the little icon has been loaded here in my custom CSS panel. I'll go ahead and add LinkedIn next. Then I will add Twitter. And next I will add the TikTok icon. Okay, so these are the four icons I plan on using on my site. 
to make our lives easier later, we're gonna go ahead and grab the links to each of these. So once you've loaded it to your website, Squarespace generates a link to that icon for you. So to get that link, you're gonna click on the icon here, and then you can see that in this initial custom CSS panel, there is a link. And it's going to give you a syntax error, don't worry about that. But what I'm gonna do is cut the code out of there and then open that link in a new window. So now I have the link in my browser here for us to grab later. So there's our Instagram. I'm gonna do the same for the other three icons as well. So again, manage custom files, click LinkedIn, cut the code from here, add it in a new browser window, and the same for our last two icons. Once you have all of your icons loaded in new browser tabs, you can go ahead and save and then go back to design. We'll just back out of custom CSS. That's all we need to do there. Our next step is to paste those image links into the plugin code. We'll go back to settings, advanced, code injection, and our footer panel where you have pasted in the plugin code. Now I don't have the full code here, but this is the part I want you to look for that has quotes and says dark plus Twitter, insert URL here, dark plus LinkedIn, dark plus Instagram. This is where we're going to insert those image URLs. So for dark plus Twitter, I'm going to delete where it says insert URL here, leave those quote marks, go to my Twitter icon browser tab, copy the link to that icon, go back and paste it in. So now we have the tag dark plus Twitter and it's calling our Twitter icon. I'm gonna do the same for LinkedIn, delete insert URL here, grab the link to LinkedIn icon, and then the same for dark plus Instagram, grabbing the link for that and pasting it in. Now you can create additional codes here. So you'll see that there's not one for TikTok, but to create that ourselves, we're gonna make sure that we grab this entire line from the first quote mark to that comma, copy it, paste it on a new line, and what we're gonna do is change where it says Instagram, I'm gonna change that to TikTok. You could make this anything you want. It just has to have a uh, dark or light, or if you wanted to say red here, whatever you're using, and then the plus symbol, and then the name of the icon that you wanna use. So here, I just need to swap out this Instagram logo link to my TikTok icon link. Okay. So those are the four that I plan on using in this demo. You can add more if you would like. And again, you're gonna have more code here. I just wanted to zero in on the specific code for those icons. That's what you'll be adjusting. And when you're done, you will save your code here in Code Injection. So let's get to it. On this team page, I'll click Edit. And you'll notice that these are image blocks that are styled as image stacks. Now that means that the header and paragraph text come along with that image. So if I were to move it, I don't also have to move a separate text block, which is really handy for keeping things together on a team page. Now is when we add the magic. So underneath our first team member here, I'm going to add the words dark, plus Instagram, just exactly like I set up in the plugin. So you're gonna follow whatever nomenclature you used there. And then when you're ready to link that up, you'll click the link icon, and then you'll paste in the link to your Instagram profile. So let's go instagram.com. We'll just use mine for this spot, and I'll open that in a new window and click save and apply. Now, you'll notice we're not seeing the icon yet. We won't until we save this page, so don't worry. Let's go ahead while we're here, though, and add a LinkedIn link for our team member one as well. So I'm gonna say dark plus LinkedIn and highlight that, add our link. And here, 
Um, I'm just gonna have this go to linkedin.com. But of course you would paste your profile here. And for each of these, I want to make sure that they are opening in a new window, which means that when someone goes out to your LinkedIn profile, they are still going to have your website open in the background. And I don't remember if I did that for dark plus Instagram. So let's just take a peek here. And I did. Yay. Okay. So before we add our second team members, let's just go to done and save. And here you can see it added our icons just like it should. So if I click on Instagram, it's going to open up my Instagram. If I click on LinkedIn, it's going to go to the main LinkedIn page. But if you added a profile link there, that's where it would go. All right, let's do the same for team member two. And let's say she doesn't hang out on Instagram. She loves Twitter. So we'll just add dark plus Twitter here. And I'll go ahead and type in um, LinkedIn for her as well. So dark plus LinkedIn. And you can add her specific profile links here. So for dark plus Twitter, let's click the link icon. And I'm just gonna have this go to the Twitter main page. Sorry, I can't type when people are watching. But of course you would have this go to her profile and same for LinkedIn. Open it in a new window and you would just paste in the profile link here instead of the main LinkedIn link. So let's go to done and save. Twitter opens up her Twitter profile if that was the link we added and same for LinkedIn. It would open up her LinkedIn profile if that's the link we added. So you can add these links anywhere on your site that you can use text links. Another place that you might want to use this is in the header of your website. So let's go back to our pages menu and I'll scroll here so you can see our header. So in main navigation, we've got our mission team services, get involved and blog. Normally, if you wanted to do social media icons in the header, you would say edit site header and go to elements and turn on social links. But those aren't what we want to use because maybe for the site, we don't have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We have Instagram and TikTok. So let me show you how to use those. Let's turn off the social links in the header. Save our changes there. And then under main navigation, if we click the plus icon, we can actually add a link. And here is where we would put that link title. This would be dark plus Twitter. And here we would link out to their Twitter profile for the site. So let's add that. It's in the wrong place. So I'll just drag it down below here and we'll add it to the end. So let's do the same for TikTok. Again, we'll add a link, dark plus TikTok, and have this go to TikTok. I think I forgot to open that first one in a new window, but you'll remember to do that and click save. And now we have links to Twitter and TikTok for our whole site in the site header. So if you wanted to use an icon that Squarespace doesn't support, like TikTok at the time of this recording, then that's how you would add that to your site header. You would use this workaround. One adjustment that I made here was at the very start of that code that you pasted into code injection, there were some styling options. So you can adjust the padding on top of these just change the number and you can also adjust the size of the icon. You can change the number there as well. So play around with that until you get the spacing and size of all the icons that you want. Now, if you have any questions about how the plugin works, please reach out directly to SQS mods who created the plugin. They can better assist you with support for it. But I hope this walkthrough was helpful for you and that it makes your Squarespace life a little easier. And I wish you the best of luck with your website.